Hi everyone, it's Maddie here and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So for today's video, I thought I would show you my Disney DVD collection. I've been meaning to do this video for quite a while now, but my DVDs are usually tucked away in a little corner and it's kind of a hassle to get them down. But today I thought I would show them to you. So some of these DVDs are actually ones that I didn't purchase. They're ones that I've kept from my childhood. Obviously a lot of my childhood DVDs are with my parents and um, they still have them, but a couple of them I've actually kept for myself. Um, other ones I've purchased, some of them I've gotten through Disney Movie Rewards. It really just depends. But let's go ahead and jump right in. The first DVD I have to show you here is Tim Burton's The Nightmare Before Christmas, a classic, of course. This is really unique packaging. This is the two disc collector's edition. Um, this is what it looks like. It's holographic. And this is the back. When you open it up, I'll have to show you. That's what it looks like on the inside. So that's pretty cool. Um, it comes with lots of bonus features and things like that. Um, but we have had this DVD for a long time and um, I watched it all the time as a kid and I'm really glad that I have it. The next three DVDs, I want to show you them really quickly because I don't have their cases and I think they got lost when I moved to college. Um, but the first one is this Toy Story DVD and I know I actually do have the case for this. It might be in my pile and it might be downstairs. But I do have the case for this, but this is the Toy Story 10th Anniversary Edition. So you can see how old this is because it was the 10th anniversary. Um, and obviously this film came out in the 90s, so um, it's definitely not the 10th anniversary anymore. Uh, but this is just what that looks like. Two other DVDs that I have that do not have a home, I don't know where their cases went, is first of all, The Rescuers classic underrated Disney film and Pixar's Ratatouille. The next film I have is The Lady and the Tramp. This is the 50th anniversary edition. Um, again, even though it's the 50th, this is still an older one that I have. Um, I believe we got this in the early 2000s, if I'm not mistaken. Um, that's what it looks like. Really simple, got the classic paper packaging. But yeah. Two DVDs that are not Disney, but I thought would be worth mentioning are Peter Pan and Hook. Um, I am a huge fan of Peter Pan in general. Besides the uh, Disney, Walt Disney adaptation, I really love uh, the 2003 live action one with Jeremy Sumter. Love that man. Um, and I also love Hook with um, Robin Williams. This is a very underrated Steven Spielberg film. Um, and I really like this. So speaking of Peter Pan, I have Peter Pan right here. This packaging is kind of beat up. This is an old film um, that we've had for a while. This was one, another one of my childhood ones. But it just looks like that. It has, you know, the classic metallic raised packaging. Super fancy. Next up, we have Pinocchio. Um, this is also a packaged one. I don't think this one is actually as old though as some of the other ones. Um, it's in pretty good condition. And I have Dumbo. This is definitely one of the older ones. The packaging is really bulky. And just by the look and feel of it, like I can tell this is an older release. I think it might say on the back here, if I can find it. Yeah, April 2001. This was uh, released a month after I was born. So definitely an older one for sure. Next up, we have a DVD that I bought. And this is a Goofy movie, a classic, of course. This is one of, if not my favorite, Walt Disney film. Um, and this one, I think I got it like Target or something. It wasn't that expensive. Don't try and use my movie reward case because I have already got the code. <laughs> Next up, we have DuckTales. I love DuckTales. This is volume one. It's got three discs. Um, I think this just has the first season. Yes, episodes one through 27 are in here, but it's got really cool packaging. Um, I actually really like this one. The next DVD is again not Disney, but I thought I would show it to you. Um, it is a Saturday morning cartoons. This is a 1970s one. Um, it has Scooby-Doo, the Batman series, uh, the Jetsons, got Yogi's Gang, they've got Josie and the Pussycats, um, a bunch of fun ones, and it comes with multiple discs. If I pull this out, you can see it just looks like this. Very basic packaging. Um, but yeah. This is a fun one to watch 
on a chill day if I just want to watch some cartoons. Really quickly, I want to take the time to show you all of my Blu-rays. Um, some of these I actually got for free for the Disney Movie Rewards, some of them I bought. Uh, the first one is Spider-Man Homecoming. Um, I have not even watched this DVD. I've seen the film, um, but it's still in its packaging. <laughs> I just have, have yet to watch it. Next up, Monsters University, of course. Uh, this is a classic. This one I also got for free at the Disney Movie Rewards with all my points. This is the Walt Disney, um, their short films collection for the animated studios. And um, it just looks like this. It comes with all of these shorts. Some of my favorite ones would be the Frozen Ever After one, um, Paper Man. Uh, what's the dog one where he's like eating all the food? I forget the name of it, but they also have like Steamboat Willie and some like Mickey Mouse short films. They have Tangled Ever After, lots of fun ones. Next up, Frozen. I swear I've had this Blu-ray copy for the longest time. I got it for Christmas one year, I remember. When Frozen came out in 2013, I was obsessed. Um, I had seen it, I believe at the Disney parks at one of the theaters, like in the downtown Disney district and after I'd seen the film, I got a little Elsa doll at Disneyland. It was like, that was the era right before I started going to Disneyland all the time. So it was a really special time in my life. And I remember asking for this for Christmas. And even though we already had it on film, I wanted my own DVD. And so I got it and I just love this. It's very nostalgic, um, has good memories attached to it. And lastly, another freebie via Disney movie, re movie rewards. Um, I got the Disney's Pirate Fairy. I love the Tinkerbell movies. Um, I think that they're really kind of underrated. I mean, I know a lot of kids like Tinkerbell and all that, but when it comes to this, like the early 2000s animated movies, I really, really like them. If you guys ever want me to do a video about Disney movie rewards, explaining how it works, how I've earned all these free Disney DVDs, let me know because you totally can start off by looking through all the old DVDs in your house and getting all your codes and... You just earn points and you can earn free movies and other prizes. So let me know if you want me to do a video on that because I totally will. Going back to normal DVDs, the next couple are going to be ones that I purchased myself. Starting with Big Hero 6, Tangled, and Brave. Uh, Tang uh, Rapunzel and Merida are my favorite princesses if you didn't know. And so I immediately had to buy those DVDs when I first started kind of collecting my own movies. Going back to home ones that I've had since childhood, we have the two disc collector's edition of Finding Nemo. I also have the Walt Disney Gold Classic Collection Hercules. We have a platinum edition, two disc special edition, Aladdin. <laughs> That's a mouthful. And this one has pretty cool little bonus discs as well. We have another Platinum Edition. This is The Lion King featuring an all new song. And I remember this confusing me so much as a child because this movie has bonus features that I don't remember watching as a kid that weren't in the original cut of the film. And I remember being so confused. Um, but now that I'm older, obviously I understand that they kind of threw that in as a bonus feature. For Platinum Edition, we have the two disc special edition, The Little Mermaid. This is another one that comes with a lot of bonus features and fun stuff like that. This is a two disc special edition Sleeping Beauty, again with one of these paper covers, fun and fresh. Next we have another one from my childhood which is super beat up. This one is uh, the, Mary, the Mary Poppins Gold Classic Edition. Um, it's kind of like the Hercules one I showed you, but look at how beat up this is. The clear like plastic film on this has ripped off. Um, it's a very cheap older DVD but I love it. I've had it forever. This is another movie that holds a lot of memories for me. Um, I have this movie Alice in Wonderland totally memorized off script, off book. I can recite this movie word for word um, and I remember watching it all the time when I first got into my Disney phase phase right. It's not a phase anymore, clearly. Um, I remember watching this so many times at my childhood home. Um, I have the advertisements memorized on this film. I know all of the films that they um, are premiering on this, 
coming soon April 2007 or whenever it was like I've just watched this DVD so much and this is a masterpiece edition this is um a two disc set and the bonus features on this are actually really cool you can do a virtual tea party there's lots of games and fun things like that and next up we have another one that i bought this one is just a classic disney cinderella movie this is one of the cheaper ones where um it doesn't come with anything special just the film for some more disney channel-esque dvds everyone who knows me knows i love disney channel as a kid, Hannah Montana and High School Musical were my life. I watched them religiously. And so, of course, I have the Hannah Montana movie on DVD. This one also, I think, comes with bonus features, uh, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, it comes with a lot of things. And it's just so funny to look at this, you know, totally 2000s packaging. It comes with all this different stuff, you know, like Hannah Montana, you know, her newest DVD is coming. Sweet Life on Deck, uh, all these different like advertisements, Wizards of Waverly Place, um, your favorite stars on DVD. So that's kind of funny. Um, and then it also has like the advertisements for Blu-ray. I remember when Blu-ray first came out and we got a Blu-ray player, I was like, oh my gosh. I have high School Musical and High School Musical 3 on DVD. I know I have High School Musical 2. I just don't know where it is. It might be my mom's house, but High School Musical 2 is my favorite out of the three. It's always been, even since I was a child, because um, if you couldn't tell <laughs> by my personality, Sharpay was my favorite. And I watched the fabulous scene like over and over and over. So I know I have that DVD. I'm just not sure where. Another honorable mention that um, I've never watched, it's still in the plastic, but this is The Odd Life of Timothy Green. This I got from Disney Movie Rewards for free and it was like a random DVD. Like you didn't know which one you were getting. You didn't get to pick. Um, and so I got The Odd Life of Timothy Green. I've heard really good things about this movie. I haven't taken the time to watch it, but maybe I should. But it's still in its plastic wrap. I haven't even opened it. Alrighty everyone. So the next part of this video is going to be the remainder of my DVD collection, which is not technically Disney. Um, a lot of it is animated films and kind of nostalgic things. Um, but if you were strictly here for Disney, you can go ahead and peace out. But if you want to see the rest of them, I only have a couple more to show you. Firstly, I have this uh, Mary-Kate and Ashley Olsen collection of DVDs. Oh my gosh. I watched these so much as a child, especially the ones of them being younger, like um, Passport to Paris and all of those like little Hawaiian films that they did and stuff where they just filmed at different resorts and like advertised the resort but in movie format. Um, these are just my guilty pleasure. I love Mary-Kate and Ashley movies. Um, I remember I watched Holiday in the Sun like so much my winter semester before we went on vacation in Mexico for spring break when I was still in high school because I was just hating the cold weather. I'm a totally warm-blooded person. I love summertime. And so when we were enduring those cold months and I knew we were go gonna go on this nice like Mexican vacation, I was just like, oh, I really wanna go already. And so this movie helped me cope with the fact that it was so cold. But yeah, overall, I love Mary-Kate and Ashley movies. And I think I got this off of Amazon. So if you want kind of the four disc collection, it comes with all four films would highly, highly recommend. Next up, another nostalgic film. We have Barbie as Rapunzel. Um, do I need to even say anything more? <laughs> uh, Barbie movies, I grew up on them. These uh, very terribly animated, I might add. I mean, they were really good for their time period, but when you watch them back, you're like, oh my gosh, this is the beginning of 3D animation. Um, but this is a classic. I loved Barbie as Rapunzel. I know a lot of people grew up on Princess and the Popper, and I remember vaguely seeing it as a kid. I think it was even on VHS when I saw it, but this one was everything to me. This was my childhood. I have it with me right now, but I also have, um, Barbie and the Twelve Dancing Princesses on DVD. I believe that is at my mom's house because I wanted to show Nora it. Um, but yeah, unfortunately I don't have that with me, but I do have that movie as well. Uh, 12 Dancing Princesses and Rapunzel were my favorites of all time. Um, I loved them more than any of the other Barbie movies. Next up, speaking of dancing, I have the Disney's Bella Dancerella Cinderella Dance and Sing Along. 
Bella Dancerella was everything. Like I had this, um, the cheerleading version, but then my mom got me the Cinderella version. We had a wand, we had a duster. It like came with this big set. Um, you can kind of see it came with this tutu and this wand, but you also had a little duster and you could dust things off. It was the cutest thing ever. It was so fun. It says in the back, Bella's 40 minute video takes you through a lively retelling of the classic fairy tale complete with fun songs and easy to follow dance routines. Um, and you also get to go to a little ball. The, I remember the kit came with a little invitation that said you're invited to the ball and it was like the coolest thing ever as a kid. Um, I don't have any of the accessories anymore, but I still have the film, even though it's totally beat up, but still intact. Next up in the classic realm of high school dramas, we have Lindsay Lohan in Mean Girls. Um, everyone obsesses over this movie, and to be so honest, I'm not a huge Mean Girls fan. I do think it's a good movie, but I think Clueless is far superior. And when I was in high school, no one really knew too well what Clueless was. Um, but in today's, you know, age, um, I've noticed on TikTok especially that girls in high school are now finally giving Clueless the moment that it deserves in, um, you know, the 2020s, I guess you could say. Oh, you know, it's getting the attention it deserves. I mean, obviously it was super popular when it came out in the 90s, but it's getting that revamp. But anyway, this is still a good movie. Um, I really do like this film. Next up, we got a classic tearjerker, Flicka. I remember seeing this in the theaters with my mom when I was a little girl and we both cried um, when said events would occur. Um, but this is a really good classic movie. We bought it on DVD right after we saw it in theaters. And I think this is that same DVD. Yeah, see, look, it literally has this advertisement for this forgotten animated film. Anyone remember Everyone's Hero? I really don't. Next up, um, I clearly buy a lot of these triple or like tri movie collections, but I have an 80s comedy. So I have The Breakfast Club, 16 Candles, and Fast Times at Ridgemont High. All classics um, of the 80s high school era. I have seen all three of these, but I'd say my favorite is probably The Breakfast Club. Chitty Chitty Bang Bang is one that has been in my childhood. We watched this on tape all the time, um, but I don't know what happened to that tape. <laughs> Uh, but we, I remember I saw this at like Target or something in the $5 bin and being like, oh my gosh, I want that. Um, this is such a good film. I'm actually surprised this isn't Disney. I think this is actually Fox. It's, it's a Fox movie, but this is, um, a classic. If you like Dick Van Dyke, you've probably seen this movie. Next up, let's dive into my, um, Tim Burton obsession. Um, I don't have every Tim Burton movie on film. I really need to get like... Ed Wood and um, Beetlejuice and movies like that. But right now I do have a couple here. So as a stop motion fan, um, I of course have Coraline. This one technically isn't Tim Burton. I'm aware of that. This is Henry Selleck. A lot of people think it's Tim Burton, but it's not. He was offered this project, but he was too busy for it. Henry Selleck though, of course, is a close second to Tim Burton in my eyes. I mean, they're both amazing, but um, yeah, he did great things with this. This is my favorite, probably, this is probably my favorite movie of all time. You know, aside from Disney and everything, this is my favorite movie ever. I have three different Coraline DVDs, so I won't show you that. Why do I have three different copies? I don't know. I was just weird like that when I was like 14. Every time I saw a $5 Coraline movie, I just bought it. Um, but this is my favorite packaging out of the three that I have. And that's what it looks like. Also have this one, which sadly I lost the DVD to. I'm so sad about this. I really don't know where it went, but it did have Coraline, Paranorman, and the Box Trolls. This is just a Leica like stop motion film collection. I'm so sad that I lost the DVD to this. Hopefully one day it'll turn up. Probably not, but I love these three films. Next up, we have Edward Scissorhands, another classic. Ooh, this just fell out. Um, but this has got the Movies Anywhere code, which I really like. Um, and this one also has special features, even though it is a cheaper DVD. So I really like this one. Lastly, we have a Corpse Bride DVD. We've had this one for forever. This is one of my childhood ones as well. Um, and I remember there being fun special features on this one too. I'm pretty sure there's a sing-along feature you can turn on so you can sing along with the songs. 
Um, but this is such a good movie, very underrated. It needs to be talked about more. Hey guys, this is totally going in the middle of the video, but I just wanted to let you know that I also have a ton of Disney VHS tapes. I recently was given them by one of our close friends and it was super nice of them to help us out and just she wanted to get rid of them anyway so she gave them to me. I have a ton of really great finds including a never before opened Black Cauldron uh, VHS tape which if you know me you know Black Cauldron is my fave. So if you want me to show you all of my Disney VHS tapes I can do that video as well. Let me know. Alrighty guys so I believe that is it for my DVD collection. Wow. Um, I am really glad that I finally got around to doing this video. Um, if you enjoyed this, please give it a thumbs up. Let me know that you liked it. Uh, if you want me to talk about Disney Movie Rewards, like I said, I will totally do a video on that. Um, and I think I want to start doing like history related videos. I don't know. I usually just do opinionated things and I don't dive into like Disney history or movie film history, but I would kind of like to make some videos like that, especially when it comes to Tim Burton. So if you want any kind of history related videos, let me know, leave your thoughts in the comments and yeah, please stick around, subscribe if you are into Disney or film in general. If you like beauty or fashion, then you will probably like my content. So I love you guys so much and I will talk to you next Friday. Bye.